They've told us everything we need to know. That, uh, he was going to be fine. And, uh, you know, 48 hours is a lot of time for him uh, to do the things that he needs to do to prepare himself to play. And, you know, he's, he's one of the greatest ever at, you know, pushing through injuries. And, uh, you know, he's a warrior, so I, I, I wasn't surprised at all. How did you prepare yourself for that uh, incredible shot of the game? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It just, it just happened. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's, it's fun to just you know compete and and uh, give everything you have and you know sometimes things uh, you know just kind of happen for you in the right place at the right time and got a chance to run out and uh, and make a great play and really kind of get some energy going in the second half. On a side note, what do you think of your alma mater playing the NCAA tournament? <laughs> well, you know tomorrow's game is huge, man. You know, uh, <laughs> Playing game, you know, not quite in, I guess, all the way, which I don't really understand what <laughs> 64 through 68 really means. Um, but um, no, I'm excited for them. I'm happy for the program, and uh, I will definitely be watching. I wish it was uh, even just one more time zone closer. I would, I promise you, I would try to be there. <laughs> Does this game say like uh, Dwight Howard land on you? Oh yeah, that's not fun at all, right wow. there. Uh, that's yeah. Superman. That's not fun at all. Uh, is that a, is, is that a, uh, a momentary decision that you're going to jump and get in front of him? Yeah, I mean you you know he's he runs down the court uh, so fast and so hard, and uh, you know it, you have to try and do things to slow him down so that you know my get big guys can have an opportunity to get back to to get in front of him. So um, you know. I've, the times we've played them, I've tried that probably once per game, and um, you know, although it's not comfortable, it's uh, you know just something the sacrifice you kind of have to make. <laughs> Is it better that you don't necessarily have a lot of time to think about it? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, you get out of the way. You, know, you, just, you just have to do it. It's like diving in cold water when you first get in the swimming pool. Going back to, to Drew. Speaking of the way Andrew's been playing, and especially tonight against. Another big guy, guy's just about as big as he is. Um, I think Andrew's bigger. I mean, Dwight looks more, you know, cut and muscular, but I think Andrew's actually bigger in size. But, um, no, I think Andrew, um, you know, like I said a little earlier, I think physically he's feeling, you know, a lot more comfortable, even though, he, you know, he's, every day he's, you know, working to keep himself healthy. But I think he feels comfortable with where he is physically. I think, um, you know, his understanding of how valuable he can be for us on the defensive end and rebounding and, you know, really being the anchor of our defense, um, I think that mentality has really, you know, allowed him to just take huge steps uh, in terms of being the centerpiece of, you know, what we've been doing. And, um, you know, to continue and consistently hold teams in the 80s the way we have uh, in the last couple of weeks, you know, a, a lot of it, Begins and ends with his presence, and he's he's been phenomenal. It's, it's the All Star break. I was going to think that mentality to play as far as um, you know, it's a combination of things. I mean, he's still growing in this game in terms of just experience, and uh, you know, he's had injuries where he's been in and out and in and out, and uh, you know, I think you know, getting to that place where even he realizes. You know, I've, I've played, you know, 50 games and I'm, I'm not healthy and I'm feeling good. And, you know, our team is, is doing good and everything's, you know, positive. I mean, you, you have to be concerned that you're going to injure yourself if you've, you know, been injured the way he has. So I think a lot of just forgetting about worrying about being injured and just playing, um, you know, has really helped him. And, uh, you know, he's, he's helped us big time. Since the All-Star break, though, he's been Bill Russell-like. <laughs> I mean, he really has. I don't know if he would. Easier. You know, I don't know if he would like to be compared <laughs> to to Bill Russell, but uh, he's definitely done those type of things for us in terms of um, you know having a, a presence in the middle that uh, really makes us difficult to beat. And uh, you know, when when he uh, is doing the things that he's doing uh, defensively, rebounding, blocking shots, changing shots. Um, you know, we're a very tough team to beat. And, uh, you know, we, we all have to continue to have that mentality, though, that it begins with 
our presence on the defensive end. That's that's what makes us great. How that's important is it when you have a 23 year old guy who wants to score and wants to show his ability to kind of empower him in the way that this defensive scheme seems to have done? Um, I think it's huge uh, because you know when when you play on this team. You know, you have to consciously make sacrifices. And if you aren't, you know, willingly checking yourself at the door and constantly looking in the mirror and uh, and saying to yourself that, you know, I'm willing to exchange all-star appearances or, you know, higher statistics uh, to be on a championship team every season, you know, then you'll lose you'll lose that balance. And so when we, when we do things in a way that uh, – you know, empowers him, empowers Ron Artest, empowers Lamar Odom for sacrificing and coming off the bench, uh, empowers Steve Blake, you know, for coming in and coming off the bench. You know, that's imperative to our success. And, uh, you know, I think sometimes you have to give people more, um, you know, decisions to make or more accountability than maybe they're asking for. And, and they respond because you're entrusting you know, certain things in them. And, uh, you know, I, I think uh, he appreciates the fact that we trust him cleaning things up behind us and it's allowed us to be really good.